Adama Traore is one of the most unique footballers that has ever played the game and I truly mean that. At the age of 26, he really should be reaching the peak of his career around his time period. However, if you look at his stats this year, he's played 16 games, started 6 with 1 goal and 0 assists, with only 1 big chances created. When he was playing consistently, he was at the top of every single dribbling chart there was. In terms of the most successful dribbles in Europe, he was first above everyone else even above Lionel Messi. In the Premier League for the year of 2020, he was ahead by nearly 50 dribbles next to the second most in Alan St. Maximin. Clearly, he was a talented dribbler and his pace, the potential is absolutely there to get the most out of Adama Traore's ability. However, it feels like more clubs failed to get that out of him. Started his career at Barcelona, he went to Aston Villa for 10 million euro, then went to Middlesbrough for 8.3 million euro, playing in a championship. Transferred to Wolverhampton Wanderers for 20 million euro, in which he had one loan stint for six months last year and then continued at Wolves. There's one saying that I see a lot saying if Adama Traore was any good at football he'll be one hell of a footballer. If you're watching 83% of you who watches my videos are not subscribed to the channel so if you're new here please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button as well if we could hit 2500 likes then it would mean the world and for today's video we've got a fantastic sponsor here and of course it's 365 kitshirt.com and we've got a silver package here and there's something here that is very special 365 kit shirt is the best website for your replica football shirt needs any shirts you want from retro football classics to the current year's shirts with any names or patches that you want is from this website and as the world cup just passed i had to treat myself of course and it's it's the one and only it's uh, I had to. Now, usually I don't put names in the back, but I feel like I kind of had to for obvious reasons. And there you have it, just like that. Let's try this on. And there you go, number 10 on the front, and it actually does fit me quite well. I'm a size small, but I've got quite a, a slender body, to be fair. For any retro shirts, club shirts, or of course, international shirts, then go down below, top of the description, to 365kitshirt.com. Right now, they are doing a promotion that for any shirt that you get, you get one shirt completely free as a bonus with it. And if you you do make a purchase bigger than I think 120 pound then you get two free shirts with your order and make sure to use code VZH for 10% off to make it even cheaper thank you lads for sponsoring today's video and let's get straight into it in December 2014 a young Catalonia born forward scored a sensational wonder goal as Barcelona thrashed Hereska 8-1 in the Copa del Rey. Teenage sensation Adama Traore picked up the ball on the right hand side, shrugged off one man, beat three more before tucking in a cool effort past the goalkeeper. Spanish news outlet Marca described it as a goal that Lionel Messi would score. As star is born a new generation and another product of the La Masia Academy is coming up to shine yet again. However, not quite yet, as Traore ultimately failed to make the first team grade at a new camp, but he is still quite young, so there is still time to come. As described by former Barcelona coach Jordi Vinyos, saying he is like a F1 car being driven by a child. The Barcelona coaches recognised that even though he had a supreme physical superpower in comparison to other normal people. I mean, I say normal people, but to be fair, look at him. He's not like me and you, okay? He possessed a great talent that only he can obtain. However, there was one key flaw that he recognized at an early age. His problem was that he was not tactically at his current level. Many of his opponents knew exactly how, despite his physical superiority, they could tactically stop him. After a £7 million move to Aston Villa, there were still problems with Adama Traore's game, according to Mika Richards. Mika Richards saying he was only 19 when he joined, so of course he was raw. In training, I knew he was faster than me, so I would just show him wide because the quality of his crossing wasn't great. He wouldn't just kick the ball straight out of play, but he didn't have a pinpoint cross on him. But we realised that day by day, he was getting better and better, so we couldn't just let him go wide anymore because because he was just embarrassing everyone. Life in the Premier League did not suit Traore at first as he failed to score in his first 
37 games in his first two seasons at Aston Villa, but later joined Middlesbrough. At Middlesbrough, he took different individual training sessions that are unique to only him. He took training sessions with Olympic medalist Darren Campbell, who was a former Team GB sprinter. Adama Traore saying that the sprinter told him to no longer go 100%, maybe at 70% you can still beat a player and after that you have more energy and also more control of the ball. It might look like I'm going full speed but I know I can give more. That gives me more time to make decisions. In the 2017-18 year, Traore scored five goals and made 10 assists in what was his best season in front of goal. But his running stats in a championship with Middlesbrough were even better. He averaged a successful dribble every nine minutes in that season. And come the end of the season, he completed more take-ons per 90 than 15 entire championship teams. Yes, that means that one guy one player had more dribbles in an entire year than 15 different championship Premier League teams combined. But Traore sadly still lacked that composure on the ball, with his passing accuracy much lower than his dribble success rate. But it took an £18 million move to Wolves and a return to Premier League under Nuno Esposito Santo, who was next up to take control of their F1 car. Adama Traore's pass success rate is getting better and better each season. In 17-18, it was 72.1%. 18-19, 72.2. 19-20, 72.1%. 74.4, and at 21-22, 77.9. And as we currently speak in the Premier League from 6 starts and 10 sub-appearances, 74.4%. And another thing, a question is really about his physicality and how he gains this raw talent. How can he be so unique? And when asked about how is he so physically strong, he says that, I don't do weights. What? This guy, Adama Traore, wears baby oil on his arms to help him ease past defenders. That's how dangerous he is. The secret to his physical transformation is his mum's cooking. I'm being genuinely serious. He's saying that his mum, I want to eat whatever the he's eating. Apparently his mum's cooking, plenty of rest and no weights in the gym. As quarter by Traore, I do a lot of core exercise. The secret is to know your body and adapt the training to your physical condition. I have gained in muscles with training, rest and food. Food is essential and I consider it the most important part of training. Water, although I don't drink much in matches, is vital. Maintaining that water level in the body is essential for an athlete. I try to vary the amount of meals and and have a varied, healthy and balanced diet. I can eat a little paella as well as a typical Malian dish with peanut sauce and brown rice. Everything is done by my mother, who is the best cook in the world. So we've got into how has he built the way he is and why is he so unique. We've also got into his upbringing to football and where he's at now. Adam Traore has just come back from a long stint of six months at Barcelona in which he did relatively Okay, he gained one man of the match performance with Barcelona in the Europa League and also in La Liga with two assists in both competitions. However, didn't start too many games. He started four times in La Liga, playing seven off the bench and five starts in the Europa League, being predominantly a Europa League player. When you compare his stats from 1920 at Wolves with four goals and nine assists, he started 27 games and also 10 off the bench with a who scored rating of 7.5. 49, which is quite high. However, sadly this year, he's only started 6 times and came off the bench 10 times, with only 1 goal and a rating of 6.39, which is quite a big drop off. Now, it is important to add that he did start the year with an injury. He hardly played in pre-season due to his injury and found it difficult to get back into the side under Bruno Lage. And as of right now, Adama Traore is out of contract in the summer in 6 months time. It does appear right now that Adama Traore is quite interested of staying at Wolves and it is to the club's choice to keep him. The main problem that has always followed Adama Traore is his decision making and final product. In a counter attacking situation Adama Traore is the best player that you'd want on your team. He is absolutely devastating. If you play in a system which you play for your team who may expect to drop deep and defend deep to aim to counter and may not be the best side then he is absolutely perfect because you've got that constant threat of Adama Traore 
that can hit you on a counter, therefore making your opponent's team take five steps back when it comes to the defensive line. They will always have that in your mind. However, if a Dama plays for a team who expects to have a lot of the ball and to pass the ball high up the pitch and be the one with the main press, then you may find yourself playing against a team that will drop deep and aim to just completely frustrate you defensively. This is the main Achilles heel with a Dom Traore that in these areas that he has to be more technically good with passing and moving and taking a man on in tight spaces, this is where he suffers the most. If he does not have large amounts of space to run into, then he simply becomes too predictable or his own lack of technical quality will fail him and he may take a touch which is too heavy or will have a cross or a pass which is too poor. He does obviously have his moments and he is definitely a great footballer, but to be a footballer at the top level, you need to have different layers to your attack, different weapons in your armory. And with Adam Traore, he is slowly fading into the view of being a one-trick pony. Incredible pace, incredible power in large amounts of space. And if he doesn't have that space, then he will suffer. Tell me down below, where do you stand by Adam Traore? Do you think that he could join a team and become the main man and be a consistent goal scorer or creator in the team? He still has that incredible raw ability, but I think it's a certain type of team that would suit him most. I do think that the better the team that he joins, attacking wise, the worst he may be, because if he plays for a team which he may not have enough space to really run into, then he will not get the opportunity to really use his best traits. However, you can see the benefit of if a big club like, let's say a, a Liverpool will take him in, or really anyone that's a big club, that he could be purely a unbelievable super sub. But in certain situations, let's say that you're 1-0 down in the last 10 minutes and the entire team is defending for their lives, maybe he's a super sub in the way that if you are winning a game and you want to bring him on, because by then they will be chasing the game and then he will have space. Maybe he could be a super sub in that kind of way that when you are winning to bring fear into the defense so that they take five yards back do you think that you can actually add to his game or is it too late i hope you guys do enjoy i will see you guys next time for another video thank you all so much for the love of the channel and i'll see you next time